If you plan to audition for DCI one day and want to take your audition from good to great, then you've come to the right place. What's up Forte fam, Coach Daniel here, and today we're unveiling the seven key elements for a successful DCI audition. Now I know many of you have seen incredible performances and maybe thought, I could never do that. And you're not alone. I'm here to tell you that you can march DCI and it starts with nailing your audition. By the end of this video, you'll understand audition expectations, preparation techniques, and how to excel. If you're ready to focus, let's begin. Step one, choose the right core. There are three divisions you could compete in and each has a different expectation. It's essential to find one that aligns with your goals, values, and skill level. The Open class offers a drum corps experience with lower costs and a shorter summer commitment, often chosen by performers age 14 to 21. Next, the All Age division allows participation regardless of age. They often have weekend-only rehearsals, which offers that drum corps experience without a full summer commitment. And lastly, the World Class Division, which requires a full summer sacrifice. Like, you're gonna be there all day, every day. They typically rehearse for four to five weeks straight before going on a longer tour, which leads to higher tour fees due to the increased expenses. Finding the right core for you is essential to maximizing your success and experience. To make an informed decision, I recommend you attend live performances, observe rehearsals, watch past performances online, and consider joining a Facebook interest group. Once you know which core you want to audition for, it's time for step two, register for your audition. Some cores have satellite audition camps outside of their home state. Before clicking that register button, factor in potential travel costs, including flights. Once you're ready to commit, hit that register button and take a breath of fresh air. <sighs> now the real fun begins. Soon you'll receive an email that shares exactly what you'll need to prepare for the camp. Read these instructions carefully and expect to purchase an audition packet if you're playing a musical instrument. Audition packets contain the music and exercises you'll be evaluated on during auditions. Now I've got a quick funny side story for you. At my first audition, I didn't even know there was a packet. Like I showed up and everyone in the room knew what was going on except for me. <laughs> it was super embarrassing, but I never made that mistake again. So if you don't wanna end up like me, then let's move to step three, begin training. At an audition camp, you'll be evaluated on several different components. Drum Corps demands high fitness levels. Expect a rigorous 15 to 20 minute exercise circuit to assess your fitness. Regular exercise increases audition success rates and Forte Athletics offers specialized fitness programs like CoreFit to help you build marching athleticism for your audition. This 10 week program is section specific and even better, 100% free. To join, click the sign up link down below in the description. And if you're enjoying this video, a quick tap on that like button would be greatly appreciated. The visual audition assesses your marching and movement skills with exercises that will challenge your visual spatial awareness and body control. If you're marching, there are two across the floor exercises that are commonly used. The first is move 12, hold four at an eight to five stride. Prepare to do it forwards, backwards, and sideways. This gauges posture, foot timing, technique, and field reading. And an insider tip, most errors happen on the first or last step as a result of poor power and agility. CoreFit trains both of these so that won't happen to you. The second exercise is a zigzag, which incorporates forward marching and sideways crabbing or sliding. This exercise challenges multi-directional movement and foot timing on direction changes, which is where most of the errors will occur. CoreFit also trains this. I also highly recommend marching with your equipment before the audition day. Your first rep marching should not be at your audition. Lastly, the music audition is crucial. 
you'll perform excerpts from your audition packet in both a group and individual setting. This will allow instructors to assess your readiness and offer you feedback. Aim to blend in with the vets around you. You gotta be a chameleon. During this time, there will be reps where you're on and reps where you're off. So expect to rotate in and out, and when it's your turn, be ready to shine. As the day gets closer, you may begin to experience more nerves. And this is where step four, mental preparation, begins. Auditioning for a drum corps can be nerve wracking, but with the right mindset, you can totally rock it. It's perfectly natural to be anxious, but remember, everyone around you is going to be in the same boat. Take deep breaths, focus on your preparation, and trust in your abilities. If there's ever a time to let go and trust, it's then. A technique that I use to calm my nerves before going into a high stress environment is a three step pattern that takes 30 seconds to complete. First, a deep inhale through my nose, then another inhale to completely fill my lungs, pause for a second, then exhale through pursed lips. I do this six times to send a calming signal to my nervous system and clear up my mind for sharper focus. And it works for me every single time. Another crucial part of the mental game is setting realistic expectations. Understand that not everyone will make the cut, but every audition is a valuable learning experience. Whether you make it or not, you will come out a better performer. Have a backup plan prepared in case you aren't ready for your first choice core this year. I can assure you that if your goal is to march DCI, there is a home for you somewhere. The day before your audition, take time to gather your materials. This leads us to step five, packing. Now I'm not gonna go in depth on what to bring, but I will create a checklist that is available in the description below and contains these items. Now let's move on to step six, your audition day. Arriving early is key. It shows your commitment and gives you time to settle into the new environment. Make sure you're dressed in athletic clothing that you feel comfortable moving in. No jeans, please. Your first impressions matter, so present yourself in a professional and confident manner. Attitude is everything. Be positive, respectful, and open to feedback. The staff is looking for team players who are teachable and can contribute positively to the core. Immediately applying and maintaining the feedback you're given is one of the best ways to stand out and get noticed as a teachable student. Expect to make errors during your audition. Everybody is going to make mistakes. The best advice I can give you to make a good impression is to keep performing through your mistakes. Don't give up, don't start over, and don't get emotional. If you botch the rep, the best thing you could do is finish it, then ask, may I try that again? One mistake won't break you, just like one good rep certainly won't make you. Consistency and attitude are the name of the game. The audition day can feel both mentally and physically taxing. Stay hydrated throughout the day by drinking plenty of water and bringing healthy snacks to keep you energized. I recommend granola bars, cosmic crisp apples, and something sweet to help soothe the nerves. If the camp is a full weekend, it is common for cores to provide breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack after rehearsal. If the camp is one day, you should plan on bringing your own food. And my last bit of advice for the audition day is to make friends and spread positivity. If you're watching somebody do a rep and secretly hoping they fail, you will reek of negative energy. But if you genuinely wish the best for everyone in the room, the instructors will feel that and you will receive that energy back from others. Good vibes will take you so far in life. Once the audition is over, we move on to our last step, post auditions. This is where you'll find out how you did and what comes next. Receiving audition results can be both thrilling and nerve wracking. Some cores offer contracts on the spot, while others may take some time to make their decisions by offering you a callback. Many auditionees will be considered not ready yet, which means you'll need to gain experience somewhere else before auditioning for that same core the following year, which is totally fine. Regardless of the outcome, it is essential to handle rejection gracefully. 
especially if you want to audition again for that same group in the future or get a recommendation for another core. Remember, many famous drum corps members faced initial rejection, but persevered. If this happens to you, seek feedback from the staff to identify areas for improvement. This will help you grow as a performer and increase your chances of success in the future. If you do receive an offer to join the Corps, congratulations! This is where the real adventure begins. Acceptance means you're committing to the Corps and you will embark on a journey that includes months of rehearsals, traveling, and performing with some of your best friends. It is an incredible experience that will challenge you, push your limits, and forge lifelong friendships. I consider it a life-changing experience that has taught me how to be amazing at whatever I set my mind to. And I'm confident that it can and will do the same for you. If you have any questions about something we didn't cover here, drop them down in the comments and either myself or a drum corps vet will help you out. And that's a wrap on our complete beginner's guide to DCI auditions. There is a home for you somewhere out there. It's about starting somewhere and working towards where you want to be. Thank you so much for watching Forte Fam. Now go get those reps in. Ready and break.